Chickies! So today I am here with another video for you all and today I'm going to be doing the highly requested hair care routine. Now you guys know that my hair has been through a lot of trauma. If you guys don't already know, I'll put the link below to my hair disaster video, my story time. It's quite a long process but my hair has been through a lot. It's been through several rounds of bleach, several rounds of hair color, it's just like I don't even know. So through all that damage that my hair went through, I got it back to its healthy state, and I like keeping my hair all healthy and stuff. My hair is like one of my like biggest priorities. So yeah. Since so you guys have been asking me what products I use and what tools I use to keep my hair healthy, I figured I'd do this hair care routine for you all today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. Make sure to follow me on my social media if you're not already. My username is Beauty Chicken on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat. Go follow me on all those. But with that being said, I don't want to blabber on too much, so let's get started with this hair care routine. So before we get started in this video, let me tell you guys a little bit about my hair type. So right now, as you guys know, my hair is colored, but underneath this color of my hair, my hair is bleached to the gods. But as for my hair type, I do have curly hair. Not like this though, I wish my hair was naturally like this, that would be amazing. My naturally curly hair is like every single naturally curly girl's hair. It's uh, pretty puffy, pretty big, and everything like that. It's not like afro, but you know. Although my hair is naturally curly, it is not too thick, it is not too thin, it's like just in the middle. Um, if I had to choose one side, I'd go more towards the thinner side, but whatever. And my hair length right now is not too bad. I remove all my hair to the front. It's like right above my boob or like right above my nipple. My nipple's like right here, so yeah. But yeah, there's a little bit about my hair. So I'm gonna start off with products such as shampoo, conditioner, aftercare, dry shampoo, and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna be starting off with my shampoo, and this is the shampoo that I use. So this is the Ion Color Solutions Color Defense Sulfate Free Shampoo. I've been using this shampoo shampoo ever since I dyed my hair darker and it has been a lifesaver. Whenever you're depositing color onto your hair, you want to make sure to get a sulfate free shampoo that way that your color lasts the longest. You know, if you get like one of those like crappy shampoos or you get one that is not sulfate free, that's going to start to strip your color out of your hair more and more and more. So that's why it's important to get a sulfate free conditioner, not conditioner, shampoo. And this I just found using on my hair that it keeps the color vibrant, it doesn't strip the colors, and it's really really great for my hair. It cleanses your hair very well of course too because who doesn't want that in a shampoo? And of course I'm sure you guys are wondering how often I wash my hair and I wash my hair every two to three days. Um, my hair does tend to get kind of oily fast but not that bad. I kind of preserve it with some dry shampoo and everything once in a while. This right here is second day hair I believe. Yes, this is my second day hair so yeah. But yeah, you don't want to wash your hair every single day because you don't want to strip your hair of its natural oils and everything. So that's that. And now moving on to conditioner. This is the conditioner I use and this is actually the matching conditioner to that shampoo. So this is the Ion Color Color Defense Intense Moisture Conditioner. And it is what it says it does. It's just a conditioner that's for color treated hair. It's not going to strip your color. It makes your hair super soft and shiny. And basically when I use conditioner, you're only supposed to condition your shaft and your ends. So make sure you just squirt a little bit onto your hand like I do. Rub it through the shaft and the ends. You don't want to put it at your roots because your roots are already producing enough oil they don't need the extra conditioning so yeah by the way guys I'm gonna have links to everything I'm showing below and by the way I didn't mention this at the beginning but all of these products are not sponsored I promise I genuinely like these products and I buy them with my own money so yeah. So once I get out of the shower, I have three products that I always use on my hair. So the first product that I use is the Rock Your Hair Leave-In Conditioner. It comes in a little bottle like this. Basically all you do is it comes in a little spray thing like this. You just spray it into your hair and everything while it's damp. You just kind of brush through with a comb, you know, make sure that all the product is through your hair. And this stuff will condition your hair so good it will leave your hair silky smooth. I literally recommend this to every single one of my friends. It's the best thing ever. The one thing this does not do is save your split ends and I'm telling you guys right now the only way you get rid of split ends is by cutting them off guys everybody has this myth in their minds like oh I can repair dead ends they're dead for a reason the only way you're getting rid of split ends is if you chop your hair I make sure that I get haircuts every like three to four weeks just trims you know to keep my hair very healthy and everything which is why it is the way it is and I basically have like zero split ends because I always do that so yeah. But anyways, completely recommend this product. Absolutely amazing. Comes in this adorable bottle and 
Yeah. So my next product that I use in my hair is the Eva NYC Speed It Up Blow Dry Spray. This especially is good for those girls that literally blow dry their hair and it takes forever because I know some hair is super absorbent and like my hair actually dries pretty fast with this stuff in it. But I know some people's hair just does not dry fast at all, especially if you have coarser and thicker hair. This stuff, basically what you do is you just spray it in your hair before you blow dry your hair, comb it through to make sure all the product is through your hair, and then you go and you blow dry your hair, and this basically speeds up the blow drying time. So basically what would have took you 40 minutes to blow out your hair is probably gonna take you around 30 to 25 minutes to blow out your hair. It also protects your hair from heat damage, so you know while you're blowing out your hair and everything, it'll protect against the heat, so you're not gonna create any split ends or get any little crusty pieces and yeah. And it also leaves an absolutely beautiful shine in your hair. This stuff I would use sparingly because spray a little bit in your hair, brush it through and you should be good because trust me you do not want to have a lot of this in your hair otherwise your hair will be super greasy. But if you use this correctly and only use a couple sprays of it, it will work wonders. And then the last product I use on my wet hair before I blow dry it is this product that I just knocked over. So I don't know where the cap went to this so this cap has been missing on this product for like months now so this is the tresemme keratin smooth keratin infusing smoothing serum that is a tongue twister it does what it says it does it is a smoothing serum you literally just pump a little bit of it into your hands use it sparingly you don't want greasy hair you rub it into your hands and then just go through only your ends with this I'm telling you literally only your ends if you're really dead in like your shaft area you can but I only put it on my ends and this just basically says what it does it smooths your hair it makes it beautifully shiny you know it makes it feel super smooth it's an absolutely amazing product so after I'm done blowing out my hair I either curl it or straighten it and when I do that of course I want to put a thermal spray in it so this is the thermal spray that I use this is the rock hair hot girls thermal curl spray now I know this says hot curls and it's for curls technically but it works with straightening your hair too it's basically a thermal spray um it's just just meant for curls because it will help your curls like stay a lot longer but you could use it for straightening your hair. So basically all you do is you just spray a little bit of this on your dry hair and then you go and curl your hair or you straighten it. It's a protecting thing. It's just a heat protecting spray. Once I am done straightening or curling my hair, I'm gonna put some hairspray in it. And the hairspray that I use is the Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Hairspray. I use this one, which is the orange one, because it has citrus extract in it and it smells so good. And this one also is a level four, so it is the max hold so especially if you have curls in your hair, you spray this stuff in and it will hold your curls all night. And it's volumizing, so literally if you want to pump up your hair a little bit, you just go like that, spray it in your hair a little bit, mess with it, you know, and there you go. Voila. Volume on the spot. So now, say I blow out my hair and everything, I go like two or three days, what am I going to need when my hair starts to get a little greasy and I don't want to wash it? Some dry shampoo. So the dry shampoo I use is, you guessed it, Rock Your Hair. Guys, I swear this video is not sponsored by Rock Your Hair. I just really like their products. This is the Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo. All you do with dry shampoo is, I'm sure you guys know, you just spray it in your roots, massage your scalp, and it gives you a little bit of volume and everything and it absorbs the oils in your hair so you can go and wear your hair for an extra day or two. And yeah, little tip for dry shampoo, spray this stuff in your hair before you go to bed, massage it into your roots, and then go to bed. And the reason I'm saying put it in before you go to bed is because since you're rolling around in your pillow, number one, the rolling around and the movement of your hair and everything is massaging the product into your hair more, that way it could absorb more oil. And also by the moving around constantly, it gets rid of any of the white cast that a dry shampoo would normally leave. This one actually isn't that bad with the white cast and everything as long as you spray it like consistently so yeah so that's basically all the products I use in my hair I know it's kind of a lot but you know what I got healthy awesome hair from it so yeah so now I'm just gonna show you guys some of the tools that I use when I'm styling my hair and blowing out my hair so first of all when I get out of the shower you're not really supposed to brush your hair while it's wet but for me I need to because if my hair dries and I don't brush it out, then it's going to turn into a big frizz ball. I mean, even if I do brush it out, it's gonna turn into a frizz ball, but I need to brush it out in order to blow dry it, of course. So when I brush my hair out, when it's wet, I like to use the Tangle Teaser, because this is a nice little silicone, it's not silicone, what is it? It's just 
plastic basically it's just a plastic hairbrush and this is really good on wet hair because it's very gentle on wet hair and literally you brush through it's great it you know it does what it says this tangle teaser so basically just like gets rid of all your tangles and it's just really really good and gentle on wet hair and then for my everyday brushing my hair when it's dry and even for smoothing out my hair with certain hairstyles I use a wet brush and this is actually the wet brush though that has the bristles inside of it. It has the natural bristles inside of it so it has both the combination of the regular wet brush bristles 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 and then the natural ones inside of it but yeah this one is absolutely amazing for smoothing hair because of those bristles underneath and even if you're trying to blow out your hair straight once I blow out my hair with my round brush I go back with this and I just kind of go like that and blow my hair out straight and it'll come out like pin straight and yeah and then for styling my hair when I'm blowing it out and everything I prefer to use a round brush so this is the round brush that I use it has natural bristles in it which I really like I love natural bristle brushes because they are the best for smoothing hair especially in my hair since it is naturally curly it's really good to like really get in there and get those curls out and everything and smooth them out nicely so this works absolutely amazing and it's pretty thick too and I like how it's thick because I have longer hair so it's really good like you know for when I blow my hair out like that and everything for smoothing it all out. If I used any tinier brush, it would keep getting my hair caught and everything, so big brush it is. Big brush it is. Big brush it is. But what I am going to show you next is my actual heat tools that I use to style my hair. So I'm going to start off with my blow dryer. So this is the blow dryer that I use. This is a Hot Tools Torlamine Tools 2000. This one has excellent power to it. It blows your hair pretty rough, which is great. This one also comes with a bunch of different buttons. So this one down here is off, low, and high, which is the speed of it you could change. And then over here we have low, medium, high, which is the heat setting, which I always keep mine on high because I like to keep mine very hot. And then there's also the purple button up here, which is the cool shot, which the cool shot basically just blasts some cold air into your hair. This is really good if you're trying to like really keep a style, like if you're like kind of curling your hair with the blowout and everything. If you want to really preserve that curl or that flip in your hair, you blast a cool shot on it, you know, to cool it down and everything, and it'll keep it shape. So yeah, this is absolutely amazing. And normally I rough dry my hair first, which is when you 80% dry the hair. So basically what you're gonna do is without a nozzle on here, you just go through your hair and kind of like go like this and everything and make sure your root area is dry and then once your root area is dry you can go in and style the rest of your hair shaft and ends and when I do that I use the little concentrator thing that it comes with so I like using the concentrator when I'm trying to style my hair and then I have days where I feel like wearing my natural curls so for those days I use the diffuser that is right here and you just kind of pop this on turn it on and then you kind of just go like that to your hair and kind of scrunch it I go like upside down with my head and kind of scrunch it up and down and everything and this just kind of makes your natural curls look a little more like put together and formal and it's really great for that but that is it for my blow dryer now let's move on to what are we gonna move on to <gasps> I want to show you guys this product so this next product I'm going to show you guys is for those of you that literally cannot blow out your hair whatsoever it's called like the hot tools like styler or hot styler or something like that I don't know exactly what it's called I'm gonna have the link to it below obviously but anyways basically as you guys can see this basically looks like a curling wand except it has these little silicone bits attached to it so basically what you do is you plug this in and you heat it up and when you're done blow drying your hair what you're gonna do is you're gonna go section by section with this just take a small section of your hair and you're literally just going to run this in your hair like that and just twist it like on your ends and stuff or you could wrap your hair around it what this does is it gives you basically like a faux blowout so basically you achieve blowout results like from a salon at home with this little product so the next thing I'm showing you guys is my flat iron and this is the flat iron I use this is by argan heat also by the name argan heat I'm sure you guys could see that it has something to do with argan oil so in their products in the plates of this like you know there you go you guys see it now in the plates of this flat iron these plates are actually infused with argan oil so as this heats up and when you straighten your hair the argan oil kind of like you know like diffuses into your hair and everything and it leaves your hair silky smooth. So imagine using all the products I showed you at the beginning of this video add this on top of it silky smooth hair that stays straight for days literally my hair would never stay pin straight and then I started using this bad boy my hair stays pin straight 
At the side of it, it has the on and off button, of course. This little light detects, like, you know, if it's on or off. And then right here is the little switch. You now, if you want to switch it for, like, more heat, less heat, whatever. Um, this thing does tend to get very, very hot. So you really don't need to put it on the highest heat setting. But, yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing. It literally straightens anybody's hair. I really, really suggest this, especially if you have coarse hair. This is going to be amazing for you. And then the last product I'm showing you in this video is my curling iron. And this is the curling iron that I normally use. Use. It is a wand also from Arganite, so I don't really need to describe much about it. Basically, this wand is great because, once again, the pleats of it are infused with argan oil, so it leaves your hair very silky and very shiny. It has the on and off button right there, and then the little switch at the side for the heat. But yeah, this, I don't know what size this is, though. I think this is like a one inch or something like that, but it's really good. It's so all you do, of course, with the wand, you know, you just wrap it around or whatever. The top makes smaller curls, the bottom makes bigger curls. And yeah, basically, that's all. It curls your hair, and once again, these products, the Argan Heat ones, get very hot very quick. So literally you don't need to put it on the hottest heat setting and you don't want to burn your hair off with them Trust me, so I would not put it on the hottest heat setting unless you have very very coarse hair But literally you don't want to be the girl in that one video that burnt her hair off with a curling iron Don't be that girl, but that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed my hair care routine Hopefully you learned some things from it and by the way guys if you have any questions make sure to comment them all below I'm going to go and respond to your comments literally um, you guys know that I am a cosmetology student I mentioned it in this video so I know uh, I kind of know a lot about hair but yeah just comment below let me know any questions you have any concerns anything like that and I will try to reply to you as fast as I can but with that being said let's move on to the end card because this video is done hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel I've been every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. East and if you like this video I'm sure you like my others so stay subscribed if you guys want to check out my merchandise line hashtag checky merch you can click the link on the screen or the down bar below if you'd like to check out my latest video it'll be right next to me and lastly social media beauty chicky twitter instagram you know and snapchat make sure to go and follow me so that being said i will see you all in the next video so once again with that being said ciao ciao chickies <laughs>